the cage. The cage. The cage. The cage. The cage. To the blue corner, Sergey Jealous. <laughs> from the House of Culture here in the jewel of the crown of the Republic of Finland, Helsinki. As Susie mentioned, we've got an incredible 10-fight card ahead of us tonight. Started with two fights under the IMMAF rule set. Our first fight of the night will be Finland's own Omar Dugarev taking on undefeated amateur Sergei Shelez of Estonia. Later on in the evening, our main event will be the highly talented Finnish prospect to almost the train, Grunvo, taking on seasoned eight-fight veteran and Brazilian striker Lucas Pereira. We'll also have the pleasure of seeing Estonian standout Stan Sarime take on an Italian rising star in the 10 and 2, Walter Cogliandro. Before those two kick things off, however, we'll have the long-awaited return of Norwegian Kenneth Bird, who puts his undefeated record on the line against the Greek wrestler Felix Polyanitis. That and seven more exciting matchups await us this evening. Alexi, we've got Sergei Chalez, who has incredible KO power, high physicality, and incredibly unpredictable. Tell me about tonight. Oh, this night's gonna be a good night, Steve. Sergei is a, he's a powerful fighter, like you said, but he's the definition of a wild man. I watched a few of his fights, and he goes all in all the time. He's a brawler, he's a fierce fighter. But it, he also can be a bit reckless at times, but I, I think we're gonna have some exciting fight tonight. Excellent. making the walk now. Highly experienced amateur fighter. 16 wins, six losses. That's a whole lot of experience. But to get a Sisu gym here in Helsinki, Finland. Yeah, Omar is one of the biggest prospects in Finland, Finland right now. And uh, he's a very technical fighter, primary a striker, but also has a very good wrestling. He's a very good all-around fighter. And I'm excited for this matchup. Uh, this is gonna be a good one because Jealous is, like I said, he's a wild man, but Kugarev is, like, like I said, he's a technician. So this is two completely different styles going at it. Yeah, so the experience here, how much of a factor is it? Of course, it's a factor, but uh, I think both fighters, have, both fighters have a lot of experience in the case. Okay, yeah, that, that 5-0 and o record. Now we go to the tail of the tape, and one thing you'll notice here is Kukarev quite a bit taller than Sergei Chalez. Uh, also enjoys an 8-centimeter reach advantage. Five years the junior is Tugarev, but much more experienced in the cage. Five win and no losses. So he stands here undefeated this night. He has a background in boxing. He comes from Tallinn, Estonia. Sergei Chalas! from Finland. He comes from Helsinki, Finland, Omar Tukarev! Here we go, 
this is an exciting one. You have an undefeated fighter facing off against one of Finland's top prospects. Tugarev versus Chalez. We'll see how important that reach advantage and that experience ends up being for Tugarev. Yeah, you can't let Tugarev's uh, record fool you because he has testing himself all the time. He has been at the European Championships. He has been everywhere, so you don't have to watch his record like that. That's that trick, but uh, I can't wait for this one. Here we go, start around one, touch of gloves. Tugarev immediately takes the center. High kick for Tugarev. Big right hand, wild as promised from Chalez. Yeah, but it's hard to be wild and aggressive if the other guy's so technical and good. Absolutely, put yourself in a oh. lot of danger. Oh, there you go. Beautiful high kick by Tukarev. Well, that was more mid-level, right? Yeah, His head just happened yeah. to meet him on the way down. <laughs> Patient is Tukarev. You gotta think that's gonna make you question what exactly, uh, how wild can you be in there, you know, if uh, you eat a, a kick like that early. Yeah, Chelis needs to do a lot of feints before going for the takedown. Absolutely. He needs to be careful. Tugarev has put him on notice there, but Shellas unfazed. Takes him to the mat. Oh. Immediately begins to uncork a couple of those hands. Oh, tries for a big slam there, but nothing doing. Very good. And strong wrestling by Shellas. Oh, a nice takedown. Good suplex there. Tugarev in a bit of trouble. Now he tries to sweep. Almost got it. Now correct me if I'm wrong here under IMMAF rules, there are no elbows permitted. Yeah, you're correct, Steve. Nice pressure wrestling by Sergei Celes. Let's see if Tugarev can spin out of this situation. Absolutely. That was quite a big slam, but that takes more than a little energy. Chelis going for the takedown, going for the double leg, but Tukarev defending nicely. Switches to a single. Nice counter wrestling by Omar Tukarev. Tukarev looking to try and dig for that underhook briefly, settled for wrist control. Good start for both fighters. Tugarev got the better on the striking department, but now it has been all Chelis in the wrestling. Absolutely. Yeah, force the fight where you're more comfortable if you uh, get clipped a little early on. Seems like a smart strategy yeah. to me. A lot of trips here, very dynamic wrestling situation. Yeah, that was a good attempt by Tugarev, but uh, Chelis. Was a, a, away at that time. You gotta wonder how tired will, will these will these gentlemen be? I know it's the first round, but that is a grueling pace wrestling. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Seemed to recognize what was going on there. That was a good first round for both for fighters. Yeah, absolutely. As you mentioned, I think you're gonna have had a little bit more success on the feet there. But then uh, Shellez decided, hey, let's pressure him, let's let's apply that wrestling. But hey, Kugadev was was game there as well. How would you score that one? That's a tough one, like I said, because oh, Kugadev almost like uh, I can't say knocked down, but that was a close. That that took some oh beautiful knee. I'm no judge, but if I were, that might that might have edged out because. The, the, well, that was a big takedown too, so it's hard yeah, to say, good, right? Yeah, and good ground yeah. and bound by. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Hard ground to judge. Well, let's leave it in their hands then yeah. and just enjoy. But uh, both men here appearing game on the stool, paying close attention to their corner's instructions. We have the call for seconds out, and Chalez still on the stool. Huh? Veteran move from the coach there. Buy a little extra time if you yeah. can get it. 
oldest trick in the book. Well, that and pouring ice on the mat, but... Oh, yeah, that's ready, a classic. Fight. Okay, start of round two, the second stanza getting kicked off. And once again, Chugarev takes the center of the octagon. Yeah, being the aggressor, but now Chela is almost landing that big right hand. Yeah, you corner somebody and they uncork one of those, that'll make you think twice. Shoots for the takedown, does Chugarev. And he gets it. Chugarev showing that he also has the wrestling skill. Absolutely. Unquestionable at this point, after some of those wrestling exchanges, that back and forth in that first round. Now he's on the side control of Sheles. How dangerous is this spot for Tugarev with his neck in there? This is uh, probably more dangerous for Sheles because uh, Tugarev is now threatening him with a one flu choke. So Sheles needs to get his arm out of there, but now he's trying to sweep Tugarev. I think he's going for it. And he gets, and he gets it. it. Yep. Yep. And ends up on top, no? Nope. <laughs> These scrambles are a lot of fun, but that takes a lot of energy. Again, Sheles going for the takedown. Wants this fight to the ground, doesn't want to fence wrestle or have none of that striking with Tugarev. Right. You eat a hard head kick like that, make you think twice, even if you got power in those hands, which we know Sheles does. Chugarev has that underhook, looking at continue fighting. Oh, not fighting off the takedown anymore. Now looking for potentially a submission here. Yeah, now Chugarev has to tie. Let's see if he goes for the Anaconda. Oh, there he goes. Let's see if he can work something out for it. He's got it here, but yeah, it looks good, how but tight that, is that? Yeah, it looks good, but Shellis is defending well for the moment, but and he Muscles gets his out. way yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. He didn't One lose his composure. No. He stayed calm and relaxed and got out of there. Oh, Ooh, both fighters landing some big punches. That's some wild swinging from Chalez. Kugar being the smarter fighter and avoiding those shots and landing some of his own. Now going for the double leg. He's down on the knees there. That's not something you want to see to my understanding. Gets the takedown regardless. Got those legs tied up. Chalez says, hey, have one of these. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to give that uh, takedown for free. Right, even if it's just a little something. Yeah. You know, a penny for your thoughts, as it were. <laughs> couple of these to the kidneys. And there we have it, the end of round two. Under IMMAF rule set, you'll notice rounds are a little bit shorter. You have three three-minute rounds. And it's a nice nice change. Absolutely. A much faster pace. Yeah, right? sometimes the five minutes can be a bit too long, but these three minutes, I like it. Absolutely. And, and we've seen it here. These gentlemen pushing a fast pace, lots of explosive wrestling there. Uh, you know, some, some real handiwork on the feet. Who do you have the second round for, Steve? Again, hard to say, but I want to I wanna say that Tugarev took that one for me. A little bit more kind of control, um, a, a little bit more composure, and when many other things are even, kind of comes down to that one. Yeah, I trust your, trust your uh, ability well, to judge. Don't be putting <laughs> any live bets just yet. <laughs> But I think both fighters realize that those two first rounds have been very tight, so I think they both know that they need to do something big in this third and final round. Absolutely. The importance of this third round apparent to them. And I don't know if it's possible, but I think we're going to see an even more, more fast-paced round than the previous two ones. Well, time will tell. Chugarev once more taking the center. He likes that position. But when backed up, Chalez tends to throw some heat. Let's see what happens there. Ooh. Nice body kick by Tugarev. Kick up the middle, just misses for Chalez. Nice techniques by Chalez, but he is telegraphing those a bit too much. Mm. And against Tugarev, uh, you just can't do that. Hard leg kick there. Lands for him, though. Two 
Zubarev trying to feign a reaction out of Shelez, but nothing too big. Shelez focused. Yeah, just waiting for an opportunity to go for a double leg or maybe land a big shot of his own. All it takes is one of those big yeah. shots. Oh, now Zubarev going, going in with the big switching, shot. Switching stances though here, right in front of Zubarev is Shelez. I may be a layman, but uh, I, I hear that's a big no-no. <laughs> Again, Tugarev going for the head and arm. Now going for the darts, but uh, Shelez realizing that situation now, pressing Tugarev against the fence. Burning up time on the clock in a position of dominance. Yeah, and if you're Tugarev, you, 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 can't, you can't stay here because there's just too little time left. And it has been a tight fight so far, so you don't want to leave it to the hands of the judges. You gotta do more. There's still plenty of time left. On that single leg, turns the corner. Almost nice takes reversal. the back there. Oh! Beautiful wrestling by Sergei Sheles. Absolutely manages to take the back of the much more experienced Dugarev. Can he drag him down? Yes, will he end up on top? Also, yes, briefly. Beautiful scramble. I yeah. was just going to say that this round has been looking good so far for Sergei. Absolutely. But, uh, that was beautiful scramble by Tugarev, and now he's the aggressor on the single leg. Now let's see if he gets the take down, and he gets. Yeah, but short time here, and you have to, you have to think. Yeah, he has to do something big now. Right. He has to go for the kill. And he takes that top control position. Let's see if he goes for the side choke or maybe. And some big ground and pound. 20 seconds left. Short time here. Again, Sergei with those body shots. Nothing for free. Yeah. Might not be much, but it's something. Especially in this fight where, where we haven't seen that much action, but now Cooper Landing some big shots to the body of Shelly. Absolutely, and that may have stolen the round for him. Quite a few. That's a, a, a close fight. Yeah. Absolutely. And he's up. Shelly's looking thoughtful. And quite tired. Yeah. Ugarev is pacing around the cage. He's like, I can do more. Champion posture. You got to think that when you fight, that many times in such a short span, you're always in shape. And that looks to be the case here for Omar Tugarev. He seems to have, Shelez has taken the corner of Omar Tugarev. <laughs> here we have the replay. What have they got for us? Big swing and a miss. Yeah, from not Tugarev. nice pressuring by Omar Tugarev, but. Uh... Shellis was also quite aware. Yeah, Shellis dragging him to the ground, just relying on that wrestling acumen and his fight IQ to try and come in into a dominant position after the scramble, is my guess there. Comfortable to drag him down on top of him. Uh, but here you see Tugarev raining down a few blows of his own to finish the round. Might have made an impact in the judges' eyes. Omar Tugarev, a three-time national champion, has also won titles in kickboxing and submission wrestling. That's submission wrestling on full display here tonight. And now we go for the decision. The winner by unanimous decision, Omar Tukarev! 
and Omar Tugarev takes the victory. One of the brightest names in Finnish MMA. Let's hear what he has to say. Omar, onneksi olkoon. Uh, ootko iloinen? Joo, alhamdulillah. Voit tuli mut. Mä en ole iloinen, mä oisin lopettaa tuon matsin. Kaveri vaikutti tosi, tosi vahvalta painijalta. Ja aika villiltä tuossa pystyssä. Mitäs, miltä sä näet tuntuu? Joo, mä tiedän, että se on ihan ok vastaan. Mä pystyn paljon parempaa. Tää vaan pystyn tehdä se matsissa. Ensi kerralla me varmaan nähdään se. Onneksi olkoon. Omar Tukarev! Yeah, Tukar was always humble to the audience, but he was, wasn't that happy about his performance. So. And, I, and I can agree with that, that definitely wasn't the best Tukarev that I have seen, but I hope that we can see the more of Tukarev out in the future. You know, he comes in good shape, so I think that it, it would be great to see him in a five-minute round at, at some point in the near future. You are about to experience the cage. The cage.